like, share, subscribe. Hey y'all, welcome back. Number 26 gives us a, a table of certain values for a fifth degree polynomial p of x. So we've got this function p of x. We don't really know um, what it is, but we know there's going to at least be a cubic term in there at the very, that would be the, like the first term. So we got like something times x to the, did I say cubic? I meant to the fifth, a fifth degree polynomial. And then there might be some other terms too. We don't know that, um, but we at least know that there is going to be a quintic term, not a cubic term. Okay, so one of the things we uh, know about quintic terms, or just polynomials in general, is that the number of real roots cannot exceed the degree. So in other words, this polynomial will have at most five roots. That doesn't mean that there will be five roots, there could be fewer, but um, that's the most number it could have. So the question is asking, Based on the value shown, what is the minimum number of real roots of the equation? So roots are going to be x values where the y coordinate is 0. In other words, you're kind of looking for the x-intercepts. We don't have an equation we can solve, so we have to use the table to infer how many possible roots there are. Now, if I have just a graph, and I just mean like any kind of graph, uh, any sort of continuous polynomial function, you know, it could do anything like this, right? But whatever it looks like, um, the only times we see that we ever have a zero here is if the function changes from negative to positive. Now, if we don't see a change from negative to positive or positive to negative, that doesn't necessarily mean that there isn't a root there. It just means we can't say for certain if there is because it is possible that your graph comes down to the x-axis hits it, you get a root there, and it goes back up. So if this table only gives me like two values, so let's say it gives me like a five and then a seven, that doesn't tell us that there's for sure a root there because it could the function could just kind of like skip over that and, and, and not actually hit the x-axis. So this is asking for the minimum number of real roots. So like how many roots do there absolutely have to be? Um, and so the way to answer this question it's just to look at the numbers, and any time you see a sign change, you're going to um, you're going to count that there has to be a root there. So, like for instance, we have a sign change from negative 30 to 22, and we cannot pass from negative 30 to 32. We can't. You know, if I have a graph and one points at negative 30, so we'll just say like negative 30 is here. Oh wait, no, it says uh, zero comma negative 30, so we know exactly where that is. Um, so at zero comma negative 30. So we've got, if we have a point here, and the next point is at 1, 22, so up here somewhere, and the only way to get from one point, this is really sloppy, I apologize for that, but yeah, drawing with the mouse is not always easy. But basically the idea is that there's no way I can get from this point to this point without passing through the x-axis. So there has to be a zero there. So there has to be a zero from negative 30 to 22, there has to be a zero from 34 to negative 130. There has to be a zero from negative 130 to 20, 222. And that's it as far as like the minimum number of zeros here. It's possible there's more. Like I said, we could sort of bounce off the x-axis and go back up. So like there could be a zero like in between here, but we can't say for sure. So uh, there's going to be a minimum number of real roots. The only... Uh, the only roots that we can say with certainty are going to be these three, so our answer is going to be C. Now, you will not be able to exceed five roots because that's the degree of the polynomial. So there's possible there's two more roots in here that just aren't listed, but based on the table alone, that's all the information we have, we can only conclude that there are at least three real roots. So that's it for number 26. Thanks for watching, and y'all have a great day.